Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and I'm with my mother! Hi! You might see her in the comment section saying that I need a Netflix show every single week because she oh. says that every week. Not every week. <laughs> okay, you change up your comments sometimes, but mainly it's that I need a Netflix because show, I'm which like, serious. I'm not gonna lie, like I probably I'm need serious. one soon. Today, I am back home for the weekend, and we thought that we would redo my mom's bathroom, which yeah. is just a bathroom. It's just like very generic. There's nothing yeah. wrong about it, and it doesn't have like any crazy like, malfunctions or anything like that. We just want to make it look prettier. So my parents have lived here for like, how long? Eight years? Probably like seven or eight years. Seven or eight years. So, oh, and she's wearing a Lone Fox hat. I am too. Oh, yeah. I, am too. I was just there's, gonna say you're so And good. guys, there's only five of these left. So if you want one, I'll link it below because I don't know if I'm gonna be making more. I might in the like future. It. They've lived here for like eight years and the bathrooms just always kind of looked the same. So we are going to be transforming it over the weekend and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me because I thought it would be a fun project. We're gonna redo the flooring, redo a wall, add some DIY shelving. And I'm also super excited because Function of Beauty has sponsored today's video, which I have been obsessed with and you guys are going to be obsessed with it too. I will share it with you guys in just a little bit, but let's start this makeover. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and off camera quickly just give everything like a good cleaning, like all the walls because there's also just like some little like, you know, it's been like this for eight years. So there's like some random spots here and there that I just want to make sure everything is nice and clean. Another super important element that I wanted to feature is that my dad actually already went through and repainted all of the cabinet in here. So this used to be like a light oak color, like your traditional kind of oak tone. I'll put a picture of like kind of what it looks like right here so you can get a visual of it. But he went through and actually sanded everything down and painted it all black and it looks amazing. So while I wait for the wall to dry, which I just cleaned the wall, guys, look at this flooring. So this is peel and stick flooring. These are actually pretty thick sheets and I got this pattern way here, which I got these on Amazon. I'll link the exact one I got below. This was one pack of 10 sheets and I believe it was only like nine or $10 for this whole little section here. I bought four of them, but I'm hoping four will fit. From my recollection of this bathroom, I thought it was a little bit smaller than it is, but it actually has a little bit more floor space than I thought. So I'm obsessed with this pattern, by the way. It just reminds me of some kind of like vintage tile work. This also comes in so many stunning, like different variations. So I'll put a little pop up of the screen right here. Like there are so many different ways that you can get this tile done. And I think I'm just gonna start with the floor because I'm gonna wait for the wall to dry prior to sticking on the peel and stick. All the Amazon reviews, people have had these for years and say that they are still amazing and nothing's gone wrong with them. So I'm really excited to continue this pattern across the floor. How do you like it? Oh, I think he likes it. So in more trickier situations, like this little corner piece right here, as you can see, we have to kind of wrap it around there. What I did was I just kind of, kind of started using my scissors and just cutting away little tiny chunks. That way I could find the perfect fit for that corner. So then when it lays down, it's just gonna lay right up to the edge. I would say that this is a great deal for $50, like to get such a cool graphic floor. Like if you are fine with those tiny little seam lines, you should be good to go. And I personally am like, I would rather have those seam lines than this brown tile, not gonna lie. You got So I just finished up the flooring and I started working on the brick wall as well. But before finishing off the brick wall, I want to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Function of Beauty. Now you might be asking yourself, Drew, what are these aesthetically pleasing bottles? Why do they look so nice on the shelf right there? What are they serving a purpose? Well, these are actually shampoo and conditioners that are fully customized to your hair needs and your hair wants, which is absolutely amazing. And you can also customize the scent and the colors. And they even say 
function of Drew on them. I took the two minute quiz online, which you can do as well. And it basically outlines your hair type, your hair goals, personalized preferences, and you can also choose your fragrance and color as well. So again, I opted at going for like the pink and orange color tones and the fragrance I used was the mandarin and peach scent, which smells amazing by the way. It's literally perfect. You can even choose like mild, medium, or strong fragrance. Like I just chose mild for a little touch, you know? And their products contain no parabens, no toxins, no GMOs, no sulfates. They're 100% vegan and cruelty free as well. So all around, you're just putting a ton of natural product in your hair and you know there's not too many chemicals in there. And I know I'm wearing a hat at the moment, but I'm going to insert some clips of me with my hair washed and styled how I typically do it every single day with their products. And it just looks amazing. So if you guys would like to take your own customized quiz and get some aesthetic shampoo bottles that serve an amazing function as well. They're not just sitting on your shelf doing nothing. These are looking cute and making your hair look cute as well. You can follow the link in the description box below to get 20% off your order. I am obsessed with this company and I love these products and I'm very excited to be promoting them. So check them out if you would like to with the link in the description box. It is now the nighttime as you can see because it's dark, but I wanted to show you guys how easy this is to peel off. Like it's not gonna ruin the paint underneath. Look at this. Okay, so this peels off like that, nice and simple, um, but it has enough grip to stay nice and secure on the wall as well. It's gonna finish up this edge here and I'm probably gonna do one more row across the top. All right, so the lighting looks, Okay, the light, ew, the light looks so bad. All right guys, so it's been a couple hours since I last talked to you and I've done a little bit more of the brick. As you can see, it's kind of a cascading over onto this wall. And so I had two different options that I was thinking in my head when I was doing this. And so I went on my Instagram story and then I went ahead and posted two more basically because I had two ideas. I either wanted to do the brick three quarters up and wrap it around both walls here and do like a full like corner kind of section area or just do this one wall with the window and do it fully to the ceiling and I asked you guys what your thoughts were and literally 51% of people said full wall and 49% of people said three quarter wall. It was a full tie, like that's just 50, 50 in my books. So I actually ended up taking it into my own consideration and I'm gonna do the three quarters wall and I'm going to just do it um, up to, well, I don't know if you can see it, but it's up to like right there-ish is where it's gonna be ending. And I'm gonna wrap it all the way over to the mirror and it's gonna be like this whole entire kind of like corner section, which I like that because the toilet's over here. So it kind of feels like its own little toilet area, if that makes sense. Good morning, it is now Monday, continuing on with the makeover. I actually forgot my shaver at home, so my facial hair is getting like nice and down my neck, just letting you know. But yesterday, oh, and by the way, I washed and did my hair with the Function of Beauty products this morning. Look at this volume, like, oh yes. I do have some hairspray in there, of course, to hold it up in place. But yesterday I was able to finish up the wall, which let me share with you guys right now. Here's where we are at the moment. I did the brick wall in the corner section here. So here is what it looks like. This literally looks so good, I'm obsessed with this. I also wanna do something with the lights up here and then also with the faucets as well. So I think I'm gonna start with the faucets and work my way from there. I went ahead and bought two of these on Amazon, which I will link these exact ones below for you guys. They were $39 each and they are really, really cool, like kind of matte black farmhouse style faucets. And I'm going to install these right now. I've never installed a faucet before, so let's see how this goes. I think installing this faucet might have been the hardest thing I've ever done, but it literally looks so good. So I think it's fine. It took me like an hour to install it because the old one was like rusted in there and I could not get like the um, actual pipes unattached, but I got it off finally. Um, but the new one looks so good. Basically to give a quick rundown on how to do this, you're just gonna wanna first turn off the water supply. So you're gonna take the water and then crank it to the right. You have to unscrew here and here, and then you have to go up in there, which this is the hard part, and then screw up there. Um, and then once you have everything unscrewed, you're able to basically pull it out and then replace it and put the new pipes in. I wanted to 
share with you guys what I picked up at Walmart. And I am typically not a huge Walmart shopper, and that is just because there isn't really a lot of Walmarts in Los Angeles. You would think there are, but I honestly only know of one, and it's probably like 45 minutes away from my apartment, and there's probably like 15 Targets within a 10 mile radius. So I just tend to shop at Target more. Now, my mom wanted to add like a little pop of color because she just is really into color. So I got these two different shower curtains. This one's kind of like a sky blue minty green color um and then i got this one as well which i kind of want to use this one which is the better homes and gardens and it kind of has this stripe on it and then it has some tassel fringe at the bottom also got a black bath mat picked up a couple bathroom organizers this pump this little toothbrush holder and this one as well also got some black shower rings and i also did get a black shower curtain rod which is in the other room this super cute trash can with a little brass top on it i got this nice big basket which was 17 dollars, which i thought was a really great price and just a couple of towels I got this one which was really cute this white one um, this one that has that minty color in it and then I also just got a solid mint one as well but I'm gonna start laying down some of the items um, because I kind of want to start getting a vibe for the color palette To make these simple shelves, I actually had my dad cut down two pieces of this scrap wood to 24 inches in length, and then I used the Early American Stain, which is the stain I always use to add a little bit of warmth to the wood. And I also got some brackets from Home Depot. I just went there and found some that literally fit this wood perfectly, and they just look really amazing. They're pretty minimal and simple. I screwed them in to the wood pieces, and then it was kind of nice because the brick almost acted as a level for me. So I just lined it up with the brick on the wall, screwed them in, and those were two super simple simple kind of rustic shelves. Wow, you guys, I just finished adding the two shelves that I wanted to add because I just felt like it needed something above the toilet. And I ended up staggering them just a little bit because the toilet's not centered on this wall, as you could see. So I centered the shelf and it just seemed off put. And then I added one more above and it looks so nice. I put those on there because you know, they're pretty, so why not? Oh, oh my gosh, okay, good morning everyone. It is day three of this makeover and I was actually supposed to head back to Los Angeles this morning because I had an appointment at one, but I got a notification last night that my appointment was canceled. So I ended up just staying one additional day because I actually realized that the tile was gonna be delivered today, that extra pack. So I'll be able to tile the rest of the bathroom. Also last night we got in the shelves, which look incredible. I wanna get like a big hanging plant for this side. Um, and then I also wanna add like a hanging plant in the corner as well. And then also, you guys probably saw that I redid these lights up here. I actually thought that instead of spending money on new lights, I can just repurpose these because I actually liked the style with the exposed light bulbs. I think it would also really be cool to get like the frosted white light bulbs in here to kind of give that retro vibe. And I'll post a picture of what I'm talking about here. Like that's kind of where we are with the bathroom at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and do the tile work and catch you guys in a second. All right, so 30 minutes later, I finished all the tiling around the tile and I actually did a pretty good job. So that finishes off the entire tile section, which I'm very happy because I didn't think I was gonna be able to finish that in this video. It's looking like this. So I had the shower curtain basically touching the floor, but I actually lifted it about six inches or so. And I think it looks amazing like that. So it kind of just gives a little bit of separation between this pattern and then the pattern on the floor. I'm gonna quickly go to Home Depot, get a couple of plants to finish off this bathroom. And I think we're gonna be good to go. I also have these cute little plant hangers, which I actually was gonna sell on my online store a while back, but I just never decided to do so. So they're just kind of sitting here.
my gosh, guys. So I just finished the bathroom and I'm not even gonna lie, almost three quarters of the way into this design, I was not liking it. I was about to not finish it. I was kind of over it. It just wasn't coming together how I wanted it to look. And when I finished off the tile, which I think was a major factor because I kept seeing those open spaces, when I finished it off and added all the elements and just finished everything, it ended up turning out perfect. I could honestly not even be happier with the design of this bathroom and I am so excited to share it with you guys. Let's go ahead and reveal it in three, two, one. And this is spray paint by the way. What? <laughs> to do a little talking portion because look at uh, guys look at this it just looks so nice I'm obsessed with it I think all the little changes I made really impacted it and the things that I also realized that I did that really really changed my feelings about it was first off lifting the shower curtain I think something about that just made this wall look even taller and it also made it look a little bit more light and airy which I loved also elevated the basket and I found this in my mom's um just like spare room it's like a little plant holder I think and it just fits perfectly it also has the warm tone of the wall so I think incorporating that element just finished this section off. I also added a little pop of yellow to bring in a little bit more color. And then of course the plants just, they just finished it as well. Obsessed with this planter. How cute is that? I'm just so happy with how this turned out. So that's all for today's bathroom makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some pointers or tips or styling advice for maybe your own bathroom space. Um, and I really like how I didn't have to paint. I was honestly dreading the color halfway through with how white the subway tile was, but it ended up looking amazing with all the styling elements and I'm really happy with the outcome of it. And I also want to thank Function of Beauty so much for sponsoring today's video. I have them right here. I know they traditionally wouldn't go right here by the way, but I just put them there because they were really pretty bottles so I wanted to display them. Do not forget to subscribe to Lone Fox for brand new home decor and DIY videos every single week and click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. That way you are notified when I upload new videos. And yeah, I'll catch you all in my next video. Have an amazing day. Bye guys.